What's up, guys? My name is Mars. Welcome back to another video here We're for the last two. I don't know challenge this time with the Formula 2 cars the on the F1 2019 game. Um, because uh, the this weekend we had uh, not just the Formula 1 Grand Prix, we had the Formula 2 and Formula 3 championships as well um, at the Ongaro Ring Circuit. So we're going to make a 50% distance of a sprint race with the Formula 2 cars. As Nick the Freeze that is now um, recording this on uh, Friday, so I don't know um, uh, at the moment who's leading the championship is Nick the Freeze. But let's see what we can do um, if we're going to start in last place. And uh, remember, the Formula 2 cars have the same performance, so the overtakes can be a little bit more difficult than in Formula 1. But let's see, in practice, I uh, I done some laps in practice. The pace was pretty decent, so let's see what we can do. No stops, because uh, we don't are obligated to stop in sprint race. So 5 red lights, 14 last ahead of us for the Hungarian Grand Prix with the Formula 2 cars and it's lights out and away we go and it's an absolute terrible start with these Formula 2 cars. Um, my starts are even worse in Formula 2 um, but uh, let's see what we could do heading to turn 1. We have Nico Kari ahead of us but let's see if we can make some moves heading to turn 1 up of inside of some cars like I said mounting the curb on the inside making a little bit of contact with Roberto Mary in P15 giving a little bit of a squeeze and now we're going to stay on the outside line breaking uh, on the cup so we are very very confident on the brakes but let's see round the outside of Maxim and Gunter and uh, but in the move is not is not still there we go up of inside give a little bit of a squeeze a taste of our own medicine and we made the move stick and we are already P14 so a very very good start in these Formula 2 cars and now ahead of us is Tedesuke Makin so look at the, uh, the train um, that is that uh, that we have in front of us sorry um, just to see because the Formula 2 cars are equal so there's no difference just the setup but as we go up of inside of Tatsuki Makino a little bit of oversteer this car is much easier to lose the back end even the play with assists on so Sipshimon Aitken up of inside from a long way back nice dive on no contact almost rubbing the wheels but we made the move stick a little bit of a, a slide very very slight and uh, we are in P12 so now really on the gearbox of Dorian Bocalacci on the EMP motorsport car no DRS for now fastest lap so we are clearly on the pace going purple on the first and second sector so we're going to squeeze really a little bit but he turns uh, slightly to the right and we made a little bit of contact but that's okay no damage above inside as easy as you does and now we are in P11 and ahead of us is Lando Norris so DRS open and uh, we set another fastest lap so we are really flying at this moment um, the pace was uh, really really solid um, at the front at this track so um, yeah it's good to know maybe we can get a point in this race and we as we made the move on to Carlin of Norris so now we are chasing down um, Louis Delatraz very very close to him into the inside curve but let's see what we can do adding to the chicane can we make so he locks up a little bit we're going to leave a little bit the room but give a little bit of squeeze to, to make sure that he doesn't come back and we do so and the P9 is ours and now he's chasing down Antonio Fuoco in this certain part of the track uh, literally pushing him and at uh, this part of the track we are very strong especially in that right hand and look at the different speed slipstream we're going which way we're gonna go inside outside it seems that we're going to the inside we gone purple on the first sector so we are really flying really squeeze to outside curve we made a little bit of contact some contact but it's okay in this Formula 2 cars uh, I think it's okay to make uh, just a little bit more contact than in the Formula 1. From a long way back we're going to try something on Alvin but uh, we made contact so that's not very good. Making a lot of contact but we have to be aggressive with this Formula 2 car especially in the sprint race in the half a distance we have to be aggressive to make these moves around the outside of Alvin of the Dams car. A little bit of understeer is very easy to have understeer and obviously with these Formula 2 cars are much much slower than the Formula 1, uh, than the Formula 1 cars and uh, we made the move stick and we are in P7 so half halfway through the race we are already we already made um, 14 13 move Jesus uh, mathematics please set the camera a little bit of contact once again making a lot of contact so let's try to push a little bit he's off to the grass so yeah being over aggressive now he locks up and give us a, a nudge but we're going to stick with him and uh, now we have the inside and we should be fine but now we're going to squeeze a little bit he's still there so set the camera give us a little bit of a fight and now Alvin uh, joining to the party and he actually makes a move in the process to set the camera so um, Alvin to taking the most of this battle but, so, but let's see the replay so I think he's sticking to the outside and uh, set the camera lose a little bit of momentum and I think the outside was the best option in that situation chasing down uh, George Russell, six laps to go. Um, the progress is being 
uh, immense comparing to the last two I don't know challenge at Austria remember up on the side of Russell out on the brakes very very deep on the corner but we made the move stick a little bit of the uh, back end once again but we made the move stick and uh, yeah this ra race very 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 fun to to make uh, with this Formula 2 cars um, racing is much much closer much much exciting than the Formula 1 car so um, maybe I should bring Formula 2 cars um, more times for the, for the channel so let's see um, yellow flags um, so someone is out of the race I believe um, is Nico Kari so on the tail of uh, Atom Makalov going purple on the first sector so we are flying at this moment we are very very close to take the lead but let's see what we can do very very aggressive with uh, Makalov thankfully we didn't lose any bits of rough front wing but now uh, we are behind uh, um, Nikos Latifi on the dam, so look at the speed difference, slipstream, which way we're gonna go, inside, outside, like I said a few laps ago, but uh, Latifi, he, the move is not uh, just there, so we have to stick behind him, and uh, here we are heading to the, the beginning of lap 12, DRS open, Latifi doesn't have so, um, the, the top 2 is pulling away, but we're going to make the dive from a long way back on Latifi, no contact this time, a more clean, and uh, B4, B3, so we are on the podium, and now these guys are getting a little bit punchy, that is uh, um, Fukuzumi and uh, Giotto, so these guys are getting um, a little bit frosty, um, some battles, at, uh, at the final corner, the R exit is not the best, fastest lap once again, so maybe the sixth time that we set the fastest lap, but there's Giotto on the outside of Fukuzumi, we are watching this battle, it's for the race lead, we're going to try to catch and take the most of this battle to take the pieces of this battle we have DRS so we are in less one second but Fukuzumi is going to hold the lead of the race of the sprint race but uh, he's very very slow um, Giotto is much much faster than him so um, let's see if we can overtake Giotto and then Fukuzumi Fukuzumi should be an, e an easy move so starting in B20 and we are very very close to take the lead of this race and we are clearly on the pace we are much much faster than these guys so we have to take the most of it because uh, it's not uh, um, um, every day that uh, we we win the last two, I don't know, challenge, last to first challenge, so let's see what we could do. Up of inside of Giotto, very, very, very close, mounting the curb, but we made the move stick, uh, wearing a little bit the tire on the on the nice. Giotto's front wing, and now is the last lap. It's all or nothing, we have to overtake the BWT Arden of Fukuzumi, so we have the RS, so we are on the pace, we have the pace, we have the RS, so let's see, um, he's a little bit far, the stream is not that powerful with the Formula 2 cars, but let's see, in this uh, particular part of the track, we are very, very strong, so uh, let's see what we can do, taking alternative lines, we have yellow flags, we cover Arjun Mendy, that is out of the Grand Prix, but uh, we have yellow flags, now not, and we are on the outside of Ni Fukuzumi, round the outside, and we take the lead of the Hungarian Grand Prix on the last lap, with half a lap to go, and that is, ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful move on the outside. We are so much confident in terms of grip breaks over everything in this race. I don't know what happened, but um, we are very, we were very, very strong on this race. And uh, we, here we are on the last lap. Uh, my voice is already failing a little bit, so here we go. Final corner. We're going to win this last, I don't know, challenge for a long time that I didn't win a uh, last first challenge. But here we go. P20, P1. Get in. You worked hard for that one. Congratulations. Here's our winner pulling their Prima into Park Ferme then. What a fantastic race. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? This is why I love this point. They car dominated the track today. You could tell they went in full of confidence with a clear strategy in place. They displayed excellent knowledge of the track and made that count when it comes to some of those more tricky corners, allowing them to make a huge gains on some of the less confident runs. I guarantee the fans will certainly be talking about today for a long time to come. It looks like it's time for the victory ceremony once again, as I can see the drivers beginning to make their way out for the celebrations. You can see it on their faces. It's another marvellous team win for Prema today. Whoa, what a race, no? From P20 to P1, look at the fastest lap difference. So we were clearly flying um, in, um, today. So 
Um, this is after the last I don't know challenge uh, with the Formula One cars. Uh, it was SPA Gasly, so I recommend you guys to go check it out. Links in the description. I don't know what happened to Nick the Freeze um, in the real life Grand Prix this weekend because uh, I'm uh, recording and narrating this on on the on Friday, so I don't know what happened. But uh, for now, he's the championship leader for the time that I'm making this video. So guys, once again, that was the race. Smash like if you enjoyed this race full of overtakes, 19 overtakes done, and subscribe to the channel if you need to see more Formula One content. Really motivating me to make more but now i'm gonna let you guys enjoy the highlights of this race it's time to say goodbye my name is smash and i'll see you guys for a brand new video next time